Hey everybody, I'm Jacob Castro and welcome to another video here on Jacob's Aquarium. Hope you guys are doing good and hope your tanks are doing good as well. I am here at Jacob's Aquarium HQ in front of this beautiful, gorgeous pond full of beautiful, gorgeous, amazing aquatic plants that I sell on my website, jacobsaquarium.com. Shameless plug. So you may notice that I'm filming this video with my iPhone. After I just spent money on a uh, $4,000 cinema Netflix approved camera. The camera unfortunately had to be returned because it was defective. So I got a new one, but uh, the lens that I ordered is like brand spanking new, just being released. So that's coming out on the 20th and that's when that'll be shipped to me. So I can't use that camera right now. And that's why I haven't been making a video or that's why I haven't been making videos what am I saying? I can't, I can't speak English properly today. That's why I haven't made a video in a couple of weeks. And I apologize for that. But I just want to let you guys know I'm still here. I'm still me. I'm still Jacob's Aquarium. And I will be making a video very soon after I get my new lens. Which, by the way, just to let you guys know, I'm the type of YouTuber that believes in quality. I know there are some YouTubers out there that like to make videos uh, with webcams, iPhones, cell phones period, um, digital cameras that were once popular back in 2009. However, I am one of those YouTubers that believes in quality and that's why I've spent so much money on my new camera. And because I bought a new lens as well, I also spent some more money. I bought some Sennheiser wireless lavalier microphones so I can now offer you guys professional grade audio so let me just say that from here on out, the next video you see is going to be the best quality that you could ever possibly see on YouTube besides videos filmed with RE cams, Very cams, Red cams, Sony cameras, cinema cameras, besides the cameras that cost as much as a down payment on a house, you will be seeing the best quality videos possible to be made currently right now with the technology that we currently have in 2020. I wanted to also explain why I did that because I could have spent that money on so many other things. I mean, if you think about it, between the camera, the lens, the wireless microphones, the other audio gear that I bought, we're talking about seven, $8,000 total spent on just this rig alone. And to some people that may seem a little overkill and crazy for YouTube, but to me, it's not. I can't tell you how frustrating it is to watch a video with audio that's scratchy, that sounds like it's far away, you know? In other words, I wish I could cut to that clip of Family Guy where they do that, that cutaway of the public access underground basement TV show. You know, I'm sure if you haven't seen that, look it up, it's hilarious. Because that's honestly what some YouTube videos and some YouTubers sound like. <laughs> I'm not gonna say everybody because there are genuinely, genuinely some people that do uh, invest a lot of money into their YouTube production, but you know, some people don't. And I don't wanna be one of those people. I don't wanna be one of those people that films videos with my iPhone for the life of my YouTube channel. And another thing, things have been going very, very well for me and my business and my YouTube channel. And so I have the money to do it. I have the money to invest in my YouTube production. So I figured, why not? Let's do it. Let's let's invest in some gear that'll allow me to give you guys a very quality experience when you watch my videos. It's so funny to me when people have, you know, 500,000, a million subscribers, and they're filming videos with like the worst quality setups, you know, like, for example, if you guys have seen Shane Dawson and Jeffree Star's uh, videos, you know, where they're documenting the whole process of them coming out with a new makeup product and stuff like that, it's filmed with a DSLR, you know, no external audio, no professional microphones, nothing like that. And the video is very shaky at times. It's kind of blurry sometimes. Uh, the guy filming with the camera is constantly zooming in and out and you can hear you know, him moving the lens and stuff, it's, it's kind of irritating. But these videos get 10, 15, 20 million views and it's unbelievable to me. But there's another aspect to all that. The thing is, is that if you're a very popular YouTuber like Shane Dawson or Jeffree Star, 
if you don't know who those people are, look them up. Your fan base honestly will watch anything that you put out, even if you put it out with a SD, you know, digital camera made in 2005. Like they do not care. They will watch whatever you put out. So I guess I should also say that sometimes it doesn't really matter the quality of your videos. What matters is the content and your audience because some people will just watch your videos regardless. As for me, I don't have a million subscribers. I don't have 500,000 subscribers. I don't even have 100,000 subscribers. I have half of that, which I'm pretty proud to say it's, it's an accomplishment. But at the same time, it's like, I'm not in that realm where I can just put out whatever I want and you guys are gonna watch it. I've noticed when I've done that, I get comments like, ew, what's wrong with your video? Why does it sound like that? Why is it still in 480p? <laughs> Which, by the way, that just happens because the video is still processing through YouTube and it's not it's not being processed into HD or 4K yet, but some people, I guess, don't know that. But I'm not in that realm where I could just pump out anything I want with whatever camera I want and you guys are going to watch it. I, I'm, ex I'm expected to produce videos of a certain quality, so that's what I'm doing. So I apologize for the delay with new videos, but trust me, I will be back once I get my new lens. Which, by the way, the lens I'm getting is the Panasonic S Pro 16 to 35 millimeter lens. It is a $1,500 lens. <sighs> Feel my blood pressure go up for a second there, but it's worth it to me, of course. Because I know some of you out there will be like, "It's okay, just use your iPhone." But I just, I just, I just can't. I just can't do it. I can't. I can't. So. Thank you guys for sticking around and thank you guys for watching my videos. I really appreciate it. Um, I've noticed that I've gotten a lot of new subscribers since I started making videos with my Panasonic S1H. So, I mean, I guess people are realizing that I'm highly invested in the quality and content of my videos. So I'm getting some, some new, new viewers and I can't be more thankful for that. So thank you, thank you, thank you. I have some orders to package today, so I have to get to work. So I just wanted to say real quick, uh, oh, I just wanted to give you guys an update real quick on where I've been and what's been going on, just so you guys aren't left in the dark. So thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. And another shameless plug, if you guys would like to buy any of the plants that you see in this beautiful, gorgeous pond, visit jacobsaquarium.com, where I have almost a hundred different species of aquatic plants to choose from. And I've added several new species to the website, including this gorgeous little plant that we call Eusephaladra. <laughs> I love this plant. It's so cute. And there's so many different species and they're so cool. I added some new species of buse and new species of moss. I also added flame moss. Look at this guys. I got flame moss now. I got flame moss. Yes, you guys have been asking for flame moss for such a long time and I've been trying to find a source and I finally have. So I got a lot of new plants available on the website as well. So they're there while supplies last, of course, because I added a new species of buse uh, at the beginning of, I actually, yeah, at the beginning of last week, I think, and several species of buse are already sold out. So they're gonna go fast. I'm not saying that because I want your money and I want you to buy them now, but I'm just telling you, <laughs> I'm just telling you, for those of you interested that if you do want them now, it's best to buy them when you can because they do sell out very quickly, okay? So thanks again for watching guys, really appreciate it. I love you guys very, very much. Have fun with your tanks and I will see you next time.